Come Holy Spirit, come fill my heart, refresh my soul. This is your season of grace come with your host, Spirit, Patrick Henry Eden. Get ready for Grace Revolution. I go to the other church, the other prayer group, the other prayer meeting, the other fellowship or ministry. The same prophecy. In the office, a colleague told me the same prophecy. Somebody's about dying. Somebody's about dying. Often you hear people say this with a sense of fatalism. Fatalistic in the sense of it is already determined, locked, the key thrown away forever. It cannot be changed. Prophecies can be changed. There are false prophecies. False prophecies are prophecies coming from the place of manipulation with motives to manipulate, to control, to limit. Some false prophecies come from the human spirit, referring to the predominant attitude, disposition of the person at the spirit level. When we talk about the life, there are different levels, demonic spirit, human spirit, and the, the spirit of God. So prophecies can come from demonic influence. It can come from human spirit. It can come from the spirit of God. In all these three levels, they can be changed. The one that comes from demonic influence is to intimidate, to confuse, to bring confusion, generate fear, and bring the person into the hand of the devil. To cause fear. And the devil fishes in troubled water. When the water is troubled, fish begins to run helter skelter and they enter into the net. The prophecy that comes from human spirit, sometimes predominantly is about the will, the intention, the motive of the person, the feeling of the person. So, what I'm talking about, I'm trying to break down issues of what people call prophecy. But now let's zero down to prophecies that actually come from the spiritual place. Some of the prophecies that come, they come from familiar spirits. Familiar spirit, the spirit that just enables somebody to see is not necessarily God, but the person sees. Those are the spirits in most cases at work in many places people go to. And so familiar spirit can see, somebody can see and speak about, oh, this will happen. Actually sees accident. I see accident coming. I see this coming. I see this coming. Why I'm breaking all this is to, there is just one point. Prophecies, dreams, revelations can be changed. Do you agree with me? Now, let's go to a classic case which is the most difficult one second kings chapter 20 from verse 1 a familiar story of ezekiah this is not prophecy from a familiar spirit this is not a prophecy from a human spirit this is not a prophecy from demonic spirit this is prophecy from god I just want to establish one thing very clear in your spirit that prophecies can be changed. Visions and dreams can be changed. So the fact that wherever you go to they say somebody will die does not necessarily mean that somebody must die. It depends. Did you hear me? The fact of being a child of God in Christ is the greatest experience in heaven and on earth. If no preacher has ever told you, write it down, I have told you. If no one will ever tell you, write it down, I have already told you. I say the fact of being 
a child of God in Christ is the greatest experience in heaven and on earth. The angels are God's messengers, errant spirits. They are not God's children. There is just one who is called son. Is co-equal, co-eternal, co-powerful, co-sovereign with the father. Is the son of God. The eternally begotten, the word of God. That is, the, that is everything. God himself. And the next to talk about being a child of God, a son of God, a daughter of God. Is somebody who accepts that son in his soul. Is greater than Archangel Michael. You know, just like I said, of all people born of a woman, none is what? None is greater than John the Baptist. But he didn't stop there. He said, but the least in the kingdom of God is greater than him. The least who is a child of God. The day your eyes are open to know what it means to bear the title and to carry the imprint, the signature, the nature of God in you. Gabriel is a spirit, it's not does not have the nature of God, has a different nature. Raphael is a spirit, an angel, does not have the nature of God. The only being in heaven and on earth that has the nature of God is one who is born of God through the Son in the Holy Ghost. Did you hear what I said? This is the greatest experience in the supernatural. The supernatural responds to power and authority. It recognizes authority and power. The greatest authority and power in the supernatural is God. The next greatest authority in the supernatural is a child of God. Michael is at the surface of God's children. Raphael is at the service, is an ascendant as majestic and divine as they are. When God wants to cause something to happen, he sends them for your sake. Am I talking to somebody? It is a great deal. That's why it took God the death of his son for you to be born again. For God to die, for man to live, it means the life of that man is equal to the life of God. In the value, in the agenda of God. Whatever you sacrifice for, that thing is called opportunity cost. It means it has the same value with what you give up or even not, if not more. If I give up this microphone for this, it means you can measure the value of this against the microphone or vice versa. So for God to give up his life for me, it means he considers me as important as the life of his son. Am I talking to somebody? That is the mystery. When 1 John chapter 3 verse 1, how great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God and that is what we are. The father loves us so much, he didn't make us to be like Angel Michael or Angel Gabriel. The father loved us so much, he didn't make us to look like, to be one of the cherubs or one of the seraphs. The father loved us so much, he made us to be one of the sons, made us to be like his son. By the way, Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It means if you accept him, the life you live is Jesus. And when you stand before the father, you see Jesus. You are as important as Jesus. That is the power in the supernatural. There is a power to change dreams, prophecies, and predictions. 
Three calibre zondo. Lick hand libra zondo. As I'm talking to you, whatever stood between you and your next level in the supernatural, by the power that is above all names, I draw it away. I push walls away. Did you know that walls could be pushed away? Yes. Walls could be pushed away. How do I know it? The staff of Moses stretched on the sea. The sea parted. Formed into two walls. Water pushed this way. Water pushed this way. And that was a demonstration in the supernatural. The water was not touched. But the water reacted. Why? Because there was an order in the supernatural. That was in the time of Moses. And the demonstration was through a staff. And what God has given to us is not a staff. It's the name that is above every name. So that in the name of Jesus, every name, every tongue. Let me tell you, the greatest investment for you to control the supernatural has already been made. The blood has been shed. And the blood speaks louder than that of Abel. The wound has already been pierced. So that by that wound, every supernatural wound can be healed. Am I talking to somebody? Let's go to 2 Kings chapter 20 from verse 1 to 5. In those days, Ezekiah became ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, This is what the Lord says. He said, This is what the Lord says, not an angel. And this is not one of the sons of the prophet. It's one of the few prophets and the prophet who saw most about the coming Messiah. He said, this is what the Lord says. Put your house in order because you are going to die. You will not recover. That's a, a serious definitive prophecy. Not a suggestion. Not an empty prediction. The one who sends a messenger and the message is the one who carries life and death. One, he kills. Another, he keeps alive. Whom he saves and delivers, nobody can question him. What are you doing? His act is unquestionable. He is sovereign. He is answerable to none except to himself. He is the lawmaker and the law keeper. He is executive and the director. He is everything. And everything is in his hand. Ezekiel turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O Lord, how I have walked before you, before you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. This is not an empty cry. It's a declaration. It's a presentation of who he was before God. Of his works. What you do every day is greater than what you pray and say every day. The most effective and weighty prayer is what you do, not what you say. The weight of your prayer is drawn from your life before God. Your daily life before God. That's what makes impact. Your authority comes from your life in God, not what you say. People say a lot, pray the word, pray the word, pray the word. If the devil prays the word, nothing will happen. If a sinner prays the word, nothing will happen until a sinner changes first to be a child of God. The word works for the one. Who walks in the word? Shh, write it down. The word works. Works as in W O R K S for the one who walks. Who W A L K S in the word. So the word works for the one who walk in the word. And Ezekiah wept bitterly. Verse 4. Before Isaiah had left the middle court, 
The word of the Lord, the miracles of the palace. The word of the Lord came back. Go back. Tell Ezekiah, the leader of my people. This is what the Lord, the God of your father, David, says. I have heard your prayer and I've seen your tears. I will heal you. On the third day from now, you will go up to the temple of the Lord. Is that a contradiction? Only God has the power to contradict himself. Is the sole love giver and the one who can amend the law. And no one can question him. Is the porter who does whatever he likes with the clay. So if God changes his word for his servant to live, who now told you prophecies cannot be changed? Whether the prophecy is authentic from God. Let me tell you, when God gives a revelation, a prophecy, a dream, is always for salvation. Which means, if you take instruction and have revelation and know the required action concerning that particular prophecy, you can beat it. Prophecies can be changed. So if you go to a place and say, oh, somebody's going to die, don't go and prepare for funeral. Am I talking to somebody? All right. He said, if the father gave him for us, what is it more? What more is it that he will not do in addition? If God gave his son, what is it that is more? There's nothing more. So Jesus is the greatest influence before the father. When Jesus is involved, the father can raise his hand to strike and his hand will not come down to strike. When Jesus says, Father, everything stands. That's why when you have Jesus, you have the master key to the supernatural. Give a shout of glory. Make it louder, make it louder. In the name of Jesus, let me speak into somebody who stands in this assembly who comes from a family with a pattern of dying young with a pattern of failing and you are standing like you are the next candidate i present jesus that no matter what the phobias those of old had done to give enough reason for god to let it happen to you i present jesus as the only reason for which it will not happen and confident in jesus i say it shall not be so in the name of jesus it shall not be so for you as it had been for others you see that you can celebrate it you can celebrate it you can celebrate it hallelujah let us deal with dreams <laughs> prophecies, dreams visions trances all these are sparks revelational sparks indicating showing revealing what is happening in the supernatural what has happened or is happening that is about coming to the physical am I talking to somebody not all dreams some dreams obviously sometimes you can lie down in a place and sleep sleep and there is a conversation or a song going on and while you are sleeping you are seeing that conversation in a different way because your spirit is in 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 between so not all dreams but dreams in a true deep sense of it are windows through which you can see the supernatural pay attention to dreams let me show you something in the scripture and the premise the foundation is this dreams not all dreams 
sometimes most dreams, some dreams give you window through which you see into what happens in the supernatural. And for your information, for required action, the same way that prophecy comes, giving you awareness of what is happening in the supernatural, for your information, and for required action. In the case of Ezekiah, the required action was prepare, put your house in order. But Ezekiah refused to prepare, to put his house in order. He brought out his credentials before God. He brought out his resume, his CV. He said, before I prepare, look at this CV. Don't you care? Does it not matter to you that somebody has been faithful? <laughs> and God says, it matters to me. Put your CV back and add 15 years. So, prophecies, they come to give you required line of action. Which is why every time you hear prophecy and you don't understand the required action, you miss the blessing of the prophecy. Or if it is evil prophecy and you don't know the required line of action, you meet the evil predicted in the prophecy. If you understand me, let me hear you. Say, I understand. I will say it again. Prophecies come to give you awareness, knowledge about what is happening in the spiritual in the supernatural requiring you to take specific actions and every prophecy has a corresponding required action either to negate it if you don't want it or to bring it forth if you want it am i talking to somebody if for the one that could be negated and you don't understand and you don't engage the required actions or line of action to negate and frustrate the workings, the flowing from the supernatural to the natural of what is predicted, then what happens is that you wait and it happens. Because you didn't take action. Ezekiah took action. He brought out his CV. And God says, I can see and for the ones that are good words, there is still a corresponding action. For example, in Second Kings chapter 13, Elisha was about dying. And the king said, went and cried. And Elisha said, okay, bring arrows. Bring a bow, an arrow. And he brought. Open the east window. He opened. He put his hand upon his own. Shoot. And he shot. And he said, arrow of victory. Arrow of victory over the Aramean. At effect also. He said, strike. And he struck. One, two, three. The prophet got angry. Why didn't you strike up to five, six, seven or so? And you will have gotten complete victory. But since you struck only three, you will have victory. But you will not have complete victory. Which means he missed out on the action level. But the prophecy was right. But could not come to pass exactly because he missed out on the action level. No prayer can take the place of action when you should act. If you understand me, let me see your hand. In Second Kings chapter 13, Elisha was about dying. And the king said, went and cried. And Elisha said, okay, bring arrows. Bring a bow, an arrow. And he brought. Open the east window. He opened. He put his hand upon his own. Shoot. And he shot. And he said, arrow of victory. Arrow of victory over the Aramean. At effect also. He said, strike. And he struck. One, two, three. The prophet got angry. Why didn't you strike up to five, six, seven or so? And you will have gotten complete victory. But since you struck only three, you will have victory. But you will not have complete victory. Which means he missed out on the action level. But the prophecy was right. But could not come to pass exactly because he missed out on the action level. No prayer can take the place of action when you should act. 
Do you understand me? Let me see your hand. This is why you see so many people, they cannot succeed. Some people can never change their circumstance because they are not ready to act. Genesis chapter 40 from verse 5. <laughs> Each, this is talking about the prison yard where Joseph shared his time with other royal prisoners. Each of the two men, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were being held in prison, had a dream the same night. And each dream had a meaning of its own. Did you hear that? It's written in the Bible. In Matthew, you read series of revelation dreams. Joseph has never said anything in the Bible. Mary says few things, but Joseph nothing. God speaks to Joseph in a dream. An angel appeared to him in a dream and said, Take the woman home. For what he carries is of the Spirit. Name him Jesus. So, according to Matthew, the name Jesus was given in a dream. Verse 6. When Joseph came to them the next morning, he saw that they were dejected. So he asked Pharaoh's officials who were in custody with him in his master's house, Why are your faces so hard, so sad today? We both had dreams, they answered, but there is no one to interpret them. Then Jesus said to them, Do not the interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. <laughs> so the chief cup bearer told Joseph his dream. He said to him, in my dream, I saw a vine in front of me and on the vine were three branches. As soon as it burned, it blossomed and its, cl it, it, its clusters ripened into grapes. <laughs> Pharaoh's cup was in my hand and I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and put the cup in his hand. This is what it means, Joseph said to him. The, the three branches are three days. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your position and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand just as you used to do when you were his cup bearer. Now, in three days, in three days, Pharaoh will restore you. But three days before, dreams are given. Means information. Revelation. Get prepared. Do what you can. Position yourself. Could it be that in the supernatural, the three days had already been fulfilled. The issue had already taken place. And it is a matter of time for the physical to be ready for manifestation. Pregnancy takes place, shh, when I use the word pregnancy, don't turn to a woman. I say conception, things happening. The supernatural is the realm of conception. And the physical, the natural, is the realm of giving birth, manifestation. Not every pregnancy leads to birth. Pregnancies can be aborted, can be terminated. <laughs> Did you see something? So I say not every pregnancy leads to birth. Some pregnancies die before the time. There can be a conception in the supernatural. You will die as you travel. And revelation comes. You have a choice. Prepare to die as you saw it. Or cause the conception never to come to pass. See, die in the womb. You can speak to pregnancy. Be miscarried. Dry up. War, let me see you in your camp. 
<laughs> that is ordering the supernatural. If you understood what I just said, you have gotten far in life. That witchcraft, they can sit in the night and cook up in the supernatural. A quarrel will happen and the boss will use a little thing that could have been a little trivial thing in the office. Suspension. And then termination. Without explanation. It is done. And revelation comes. Say yes, it's conception. But it's not every conception that leads to birth. Oh, and I don't know what, whether there's somebody who can see what I see. If you can see what I see, stand up. Stand up on your feet. He said, such things happen. I said, I saw in a dream, just as I saw it, it came to pass. Oh, that I and told him, Oh, I have a friend who, once, once he sees a dream, it is like that exactly. It's not God. In a particular case, that your friend is welcome to disappointment. Because not every conception leads to birth. Somebody can carry pregnancy for nine months and it dies, the pregnancy dies before birth. It is called still birth. That means a child is not carried. That's what happens in the spiritual. So three days gap is enough to change the world. Three days gap is enough to cover the grave that have been dug. Three days gap is, is enough to disperse morning gathering. To tell them every mourner in the spirit, not here. And change the address of your house. No mourning for your information. Preparing for Thanksgiving instead of mourning. Am I talking to somebody? We are placing order injunction upon the spiritual. You wake up from the dream. Oh, I see people gather for morning. Everywhere you go, you go to, oh, that's what they say. Oh, is that what they say? Okay, don't worry. I'm going to change the address of my place. I'm going to change what is written on the front of my house. This house is not for morning. He has turned my morning into dancing. Who is it that can decree a thing and bring it to pass? God has not said so. That is abortion. That is stillbirth. So Pharaoh's servant saw a dream three days. And after three days, the scripture says it came to pass exactly. Let's continue. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Glory to God. Glory to God. Verse 16. Verse 16. When the chief baker saw that Joseph had given a favorite interpretation, he said to Joseph, I too had a dream. Oh. On my head were three baskets of bread. In the top basket were all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh. But the birds were eating them out of the basket on my head. This is what it means. Joseph said, <laughs> the three baskets are three days. Now, all of them were in the prison. By this time, Pharaoh was preparing for birthday. And they had no information. But the supernatural had snapped it and given it to them. So dream became like a photograph of what was being prepared for outside. How many times do you hear somebody in America, somebody in Nigeria having a dream about somebody in America? And by the time you call, say, just at the time you had the dream, something was happening there. Or after you had the dream, just a few days in after that, something was happening there. Most of the time you hear such stories about your children in school or children about their parents at home. It's not long since the mother died. You hear stories like that. Say the father daddy Beneke, Akpanapa, Uro, and you like a like whatever is it um, what do you call domino? Things just brag 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 brag. It's not true. You can stand in the gap and hold it. It falls, but it falls on you. 
It is song around the world. Let me die. So no, you will not die. You wait. It is supernatural. That's what it means to be a child of God. That's what it means to stand in the gap. So, three days, another dream for another person. This is what it means, Joseph said. Three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head and hang you on a tree. And the birds will eat away your flesh. Mba. If the man knew what I knew, I would go say, Thank you for your interpretation, but it shall not come to pass. Thank God I still have three days. I'm not going to prepare for death in three days. I am going to the supernatural to rearrange things. To say to supernatural, whatever you have conceived that will bring to my death, miscarriage will happen. Abortion will happen. Whatever is in dry up, woman again. You die in the womb. My death in three days. You die in the womb. You will not come out. Because it happens first in the spiritual. In the supernatural. Do you know what the scripture says? Let's read down. Verse 20. Now the third day was Pharaoh's best day. All this while they didn't know. They were just in prison. But Pharaoh was busy preparing for birthday as he was preparing ideas i have prepared for celebration i know every day new ideas come into your mind who knows what at what point the idea of killing one and restoring one at what point did the idea come to him have you done celebration before sometimes you can change things at the last moment you can change your plan at the last moment. What we do in prayer is that you travel 10 years ahead. You travel 5 years ahead. You, you go to the day of your wedding. They say during your wedding day, the wedding of your sister, somebody fell and died. He said there's no problem. So because of that, when somebody wants to come for you, maybe somebody will die, say, lash, travel, travel ahead and go to the day. That day, it's yes, who will pay back away your it is a war or ya song or it is a war when you are you you are ranging so as you invite people as are coming those who have seen the shame they look for the shame instead of the shame they see the fame they look for the disgrace instead of the disgrace they saw the grace this is what it means to impose order on the supernatural that's how to frustrate prophecies that's how to frustrate dreams. Stand in the supernatural. Use your CV in Christ and impose order. Tell the conception of your shame. Paki be die in the womb. You are not coming out. Because if there is no birth, there will be no name. Shh. If somebody conceives and they say the name when a child is given birth to, the child will become something that does somebody let me tell you until the child is born the name will not come to pass so Mponamawo will wait until there is a birth when there is very ah Mponamawo. but what of if the child dies in the womb stand up every conception in your supernatural that in three days will come to pass on shame. That in three days will come to pass in disgrace. Lift up your hand in the name of Jesus. And say, die in the womb. Dry up in the womb. Die in the womb. Accident, die in the womb. Accident, die in the womb. Premature death, die in the womb. Sickness, die in the womb. Disgrace, die in the womb. Shame, die in the womb. Go ahead. Die in the womb. Die in the womb. Die in the womb. Philippians chapter 2. From verse 5 to 11. Just listen to me. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, 
taking the form of a born servant and coming in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even death of the cross therefore God also highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those where the supernatural the realm of principalities and powers where witchcraft operates before any robbery happens robbery takes place there before anybody is raped it happens there before accident happens it happens there that is why one is able to see it's an old man get accident okay, and i saw that accident in the dream and it came to pass it means it already took place there and there was nobody to cause it to die in the womb so the name of jesus has power in the supernatural and on earth on earth means let me show you something what god showed me you can use the name of jesus to separate the supernatural from the natural because it will take physical manifestation for whatever takes place in the supernatural to happen something can happen in the supernatural and forever it doesn't happen here if there is no corresponding connection with agency for example a drunk driver who will drive a car or a bad car who will have failing or failed tires there must have been accident in the in the heavenly but there must be a corresponding connection with an agent on earth a bad car a terrible driver or one driver that has a sentence of death upon his head and somebody who saw a dream of death connects a man who was waiting for death and two of them agree and die on the road but the name of Jesus can set order. He said, though it has happened in the, nat in the supernatural, but here, that day, that day my child shall not show up in school. That day my husband will not be on the road. That day my son will not be in the battlefield. That day, that means you order what happens here. If it has already happened there, you say, no agents here will connect it it takes somebody in an office to sit on your fire if there is a witchcraft manipulation in the supernatural for your fire not to go anywhere and then you use the name of Jesus to arrest every agent in that office is it no cooperation it means it will not enter into the mind of that person now do you understand what I mean all this is in Jesus he holds the power in heaven and on earth Jesus is victory this is what makes Christianity superiority you don't need money you don't need anything you need Christ this is why some people say they walk into office they say sorry you came late they walk into I know, a meeting oh sorry it is not you we are looking for why not me what put it in your mind it can be ordered a week to that meeting a week to that interview you can order the disposition of the person who will interview you when Esther entered the sanctuary of God for three days and came out it's no longer Esther the queen the king saw he saw grace Esther changed both the supernatural and the natural the name of Jesus you see a lot of people they are devising ways of succeeding without jesus have to have supernatural breakthrough and have great life and then know jesus is a lie from hell this program is sponsored by the covenant friends and partners of grace family global outreach you can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a covenant partner today. Allow God to use you. I
our account details are as follows Bank Zenith Bank Account name Grace Family Global Outreach Account number 101 42 9763 For inquiries, please call 081 804 33225 or 090-738-38742. To all our covenant partners and friends, we say thank you. Like the widow of Zarephath, your oil will never run dry. To order for the books, messages, and other resource materials, please call or send an SMS to 080 46346 or 081-804-33225 Videos are also available on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash Grace Family Outreach To stay connected, like us on Facebook at Grace Family Outreach or visit our website at www.gracecommission.org